Hey folks, thanks for stopping by. This week we're going to do something a bit different. Uh, I'm going to be casting a pen blank from some stamps. Stick around, we'll get started. So the preparation for today's project is pretty involved. So let me go over what we're going to do and then I'll go over what we need to do it. So what we're going to do is create a uh, stamp a blank for a Sierra pen. And what that entails is a, uh, the tube from a pen kit, uh, decorated, uh, in this case we're going to be using stamps, and then cast in resin and thrown into the uh, pressure pot. Later on we'll turn the blank down to a finished pen and assemble it. Um, so in this case we're using, like I said, a, a Sierra uh, pen kit. So this is a uh, Sierra 2. Um, the first thing I want to do, which I've actually, actually already done, is paint the tube because I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, I really don't need all, you know, like I don't need to cover the tube 100% with different stamps. Uh, I think that'd be kind of a waste of these really cool pictures. So what I'm going to do is pick out uh, either two smaller ones or one larger one and wrap around the tube, and which means we'll end up having a little bit of uh, leftover area. So uh, first thing I've, I've already done actually is painted. Uh, a couple of pen tubes with a color that is close to uh, the, the stamp backgrounds. So there's a couple of these that have really, uh, really pretty shells, and I think that the uh, uh, the color of the shells matches this kind of like off-white ivory color. So um, speaking of the uh, stamps, uh, all I did for these was just went to eBay and searched for uh, marine life uh, stamps, uh, marine fish stamps. And I got a bunch of them from different vendors, um, none of which was more than you know five dollars, including shipping. So I've got a lot of material to play with over the uh, uh, next couple projects. So once I do pick a particular um, stamp that I think would look good, the next thing is to um, get the stamp so that it wraps around the blank properly. And to do that, I picked up a set of P Town Stubby's um, label layout molds that are specific or. Uh, templates that are specific to different pen kits. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it actually says Sierra 2.25 inches by 1.33 inches. And what this represents is basically if you if you cut this tube and flattened it out, it would be exactly this size. So you can take this and lay it over um, a stamp and know that, oh hey, it's, it's not going to it's not going to uh, uh, overlap evenly there. You would have to chop off like the top and the bottom, but if I do it this way, it's almost exactly the, actually is exactly the right width. Um, so I may, I may end up using this one. So uh, with the uh, project kind of laid out, let me, let me go over some of the, some of the materials. Um, in order to um, attach the stamp to the, the, the tube, I've got some glue. And then once we glue the stamp on the blank, um, we're going to have to seal it. Um, I've got some uh, clear acrylic enamel, but I'm going to try uh, some Mod Podge. Um, I've heard that that works well, dries clear, and keeps the uh, uh, label from raising without uh, potentially bleeding the colors in, in the stamp. So, and once we get that glued down, then, we're, then we'll be ready to cast. So, again, I'll be using one of the P Town Subbing molds. Uh, get the blank mounted in there with the label all wrapped around it. Mix up some uh, Alumilite clear and uh, get it poured into the blank and throw it in the pressure pot for a couple of hours. And then I'll pull it out and we can take a look at it. So that being said, let me go ahead and see if I can, I think I'm going to use this one, see if I can get this uh, uh, stamp glued down to the pen tube. Yes, these are used stamps, so they're they're no longer sticky. It's not like I could just lick them and put them on the tube. So that's that. Let me get this on the tube. 
tube and hopefully get it fairly straight. Good. So apparently the uh, getting the edges to line up is 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 very uh, very important. The last thing I want is to have the um, label raise up when I cast it. So now I'm kind of just massaging the edges, rolling. Let's see if I get a little bit more glue into that corner. Yes, this glue seems to have, have wet the stamp, but it didn't colors didn't bleed through and it's not sticky on the outside so I can still uh, massage it a bit. Okay. It's one and I actually did a second one in case this one had problems so let me see if I can find another stamp that looks just as good. This one's kind of cool. Afghan. Afghanistan. Okay. Sweet. So, cut me some slack. I'll eventually figure out the optimum way to do it that doesn't end up with <laughs> my fingers stuck together or messed clean up. set these aside to dry and I will come back in a while and move on to the next step. step is to paint them with Mod Podge. Just a moment, but for me it'll be a day. I'll uh, see you in a bit. Okay, so a day has gone by, and the Mod Podge appears to be nice and dry, and the labels are pretty. Uh, look to be pretty good. No, no raised edges, or yes, they're not peeling away, and anything like that. So. Let's go ahead and get these put in the mold after spraying it with some stoner. Put 
pushing in nicely. What I did was pull the sides of the mold out a bit while I pushed in so that the silicon mold is actually trying to push the um, little plugs in toward the center. Seam down. do get ready to pour. It's a quick drop into the pot. sure exactly how much these molds will take so I'm planning on doing 60 milliliters and then I will measure um, actually you know what let's do this
Give that two hours, and uh, we'll see where we're at after that. Okay, it's been a couple of hours, so let us see what we have. Not a bubble to be seen, and the, the uh, stamp stayed down. Cool. there. Didn't get in the tube. Of course I'm going to have to leave these sit for a few days um, before I can turn them so it'll be nothing for uh, for you but for me it'll be a couple days so I will see you in a bit. Since this video is about the blanks I I didn't even bother filming making the pen. I figured we would just kind of jump to the finished product. These, uh, these came out really well. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. The, uh, uh, the stamps stayed uh, tight to the blank or tight to the tube. The Illumilite uh, polished up beautifully. No, no scratches, no pits. It was, uh, it was a dream to turn. Uh, probably the only thing that I think could have been a little bit better is the paint that I used to paint the tubes. I just used rattle can stuff. Maybe I, maybe next time I'll try something like, uh, I don't know, fingernail polish or, or hobby model paint. Um, just because there's a few places where I can kind of see bumps in the paint. But otherwise I think it came out pretty good. Thanks for sticking with me. If this is your first time here, please be sure to hit subscribe. Um, I try to put out one of these a week or so. Um, comment, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, share. Um, give me a thumbs up. The only way I uh, can get any better is if you tell me what you like and give me some feedback. Take care. See you next time.